Uh, good morning. It's Sunday and we're doing the 3S power stop today. So we'll see how we fare in this. And uh, this will be our last event for the weekend. LS Fest was great. What a great event to come to. If you haven't been, you need to come. Well, it's Sunday afternoon, and unfortunately, the Fiddy decided to develop an engine misfire. We tried swapping spark plugs and moving plug wires, and it's more, more deeper than I can test out here without any equipment. So, we're heading home, back to Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the runs we made this weekend as much as we did doing it. Well. We're on our way home and then the truck decides to not run good. And major traffic on Interstate 24, saying two hour delay. So we found a Napa store here in Nashville and they were open, good. Uh, put a new fuel filter on the truck and the pickup pump seems to be working. So I think we're gonna try it and see if we can make it on home. Well, we've gone about one mile in the last 20 minutes. Made it to another hilltop, so I figured I'd let you see what it looks like. Well, the fuel filter must have fixed it. We've driven about 100 miles and stopped for fuel, and everything's good, so we're continuing on. All right, well, we finally made it to McDonough, just south of Atlanta. Had to stop two or three times to fix some taillight fuses that kept blowing. Finally found a loose wire on the trailer that was causing that. So time to hit the hay and get up in the morning and finish our trip. All right, so Monday morning, we're, uh, I'm not sure where we are in Georgia, but we're uh, about 120 miles north of the uh, Florida line. Uh, a little recap on our on our situations yesterday. Uh, car, the Fiddy misfired, and we changed plugs and changed plug wires, and figured it, we need more time to uh, diagnose that situation. So we went ahead and pulled the plug on the event. Uh, very very good event. Uh, so then we left, uh, going through the mountains, ran into issues with. Uh, couldn't climb them and uh, was running out of power so we in the Nashville area we found a uh, Napa store and changed the fuel filter and luckily that was the situation I fixed it uh, 
continued on and then we ran into a big construction zone where we were tied up for three or four hours uh, going about two miles an hour finally made it to McDonough to our hotel at uh, about 11:30 at night slept in a little bit from the from the day's expense uh, day's adventure and uh, got on the road oh and we had to pull over three times to fix fuses uh, we had a found a light on the uh, trailer that was making contact to the trailer and, and popping the fuse so not good driving at night with the uh, with the uh, running lights out <laughs> in total darkness but we got all that stuff resolved and uh, we're heading south and we're gonna try to stop at Space Coast plating and pick up our bumpers that we're gonna do customized for the fitty for uh, so we can put a splitter in the front and do some other things so Anyway, uh, that's the update for now. We're gonna keep on tr trucking, try to get back to home. All right, well, we made it to Space Coast and picked up the bumper cores for the new bumpers on the Fitty. Here's a picture of their place. They stripped all the chrome off and straightened the bumpers. Looks like they did an awesome job. All right, well, now to finish the rest of the trip and get home. Okay, so it's Tuesday. Got home around seven o'clock last night and crashed. So just wanted to finish up the video. We made it home safe the rest of the trip. No more blown fuses or fuel filters or any of that crazy stuff. And I just wanted to show the uh, bumpers that we picked up at Space Coast uh, plating. We would have showed then, but they were closing and we had to get out of there. So uh, here they are now. So what's gonna happen is these are 60 to 63 or four Corvair front bumpers. They're gonna be cut up and diced and spliced and welded back together for a thin line front bumper for the Fitty. And these are 63 Riviera front bumpers, which are gonna be same thing, cut up, spliced, diced, and they're gonna be made into a tight fitting rear bumper for the Fitty. That video will be coming in the future.